The force of the ejection made the rocket unstable and it exploded. But the Dragon capsule was already safely a mile away from the rocket. With the Dragon jettisoned safely away, the trunk which carries unpressurized cargo is ejected and will crash into the ocean. Now the capsule will begin to reorient itself to splashdown. However, the mission is not over. With the capsule hitting a top speed of Mach 2, this last phase is key for the astronaut's safety. Oh, drop, 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 drop. Our parachutes are triggered and deployed when the capsule reaches the correct altitude. And so at a high altitude, it will deploy the drogue parachutes. And when it reaches a lower altitude, the main parachutes will deploy. And we are coming up on about a minute until splashdown. Watch it go from start to end successfully. It just, uh, it's, re it's really something to, to behold. And I know uh, a lot of emotions on both teams today, and we're very excited about it. It's just one step on this longer road to creating a mass transit system for people to other planets. It's really good. I mean, it's good. Yeah. So, as a crew member that's going to ride on board this vehicle, having a system on board Dragon that can get you out. It's pretty cool. I think people sometimes forget, forget that, that technology does not automatically improve. No. It only improves if a lot of people work very hard on that technology. We have to drive innovation hard to make life multiplanetary. I think this is very important to secure the future of life as we know it and to ensure that the light of consciousness does not go out. We are a nation of explorers. We're also a nation of that leads. And um, this, of course, represents us returning American astronauts um, to space on American rockets from American soil. So this is a great opportunity for us to once again lead. And this time when we lead, we're doing it differently than we've ever done it before. We need to make sure that we are constantly pushing the envelope, constantly moving forward with technology, and making sure that we are commercializing it in the process. Today we had a launch abort test of a commercial crew provider. Commercialization of space is the next giant leap.